everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Agam's Tech Tricks. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Magisk with Google Apps on WSC, Windows Subsystem for Android. Uh, this is basically a program created by Microsoft for uh, their operating system, Windows, uh, with which uh, you can like run Android apps on Windows. And in this video, I'll show you how to integrate Google Apps. For example, you can install apps through Play Store and also optionally route your WSC installation with Magisk which is a root solution. By default, uh, WSA includes Amazon App Store. Uh, earlier, I did make a video on this topic using their old repository of this version, Magisk on WSA. Actually, the previous repository had been banned because it was using GitHub Actions to build this integration. And uh, because it was being used by so many people, so uh, GitHub staff uh, took it as abuse of GitHub Actions and then uh, they decided to ban it. So uh, this new repository is basically that uh, we'll be building it locally instead of GitHub Actions. So let's start. First of all, uh, this will uh, basically need WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, which is that uh, you can run Linux inside Windows, uh, the terminal and normal stuff, uh, which is like virtually and not native Linux. So uh, for that, first you will have to uh, turn on uh, these features in Windows. Uh, so first open this, turn Windows features on and off. And then here, scroll down and enable Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux. These are required to turn on WSL. Uh, I also made a video on this that how to install WSL. Uh, so uh, you can refer to those for the installation. So here, uh, once you enable it, uh, just click on OK and it will ask you to restart because I already had it enabled. So you can just, uh, so it didn't ask me. Then after you restart, open your terminal app because here we will be doing the main stuff. And here, uh, after you have enabled Windows Subsystem for Linux in the Windows features, here type WSL, install, and then the distro we have to select. So like I'll go with Ubuntu because uh, the uh, script they have here uh, auto installs everything for Ubuntu and it is also recommended here. So we'll be using it for that. So here, uh, just type this command. It will automatically install Ubuntu in WSL and then here click enter. It might ask you for a restart, but it will take some time to install it. Now here it's asking for your username, like you can put anything. Uh, so I'll just go with my default Windows username as well. It's asking for your password. Now here we have Ubuntu. Uh, so uh, first of all, we need git uh, command line tool uh, to clone this repository and then uh, do the further actions. So uh, we'll just uh, update it first. Just run sudo app update, then we will install the git tool and then we can, I'll tell you more. Now here, uh, run sudo apt install git. Uh, so uh, what we need is we will have to clone this repository and then uh, run their script to uh, get the WSA integration. So here just click on enter. And then uh, once it's done, uh, go to this page. I'll link this in the uh, description of the video. And here, uh, copy the URL and in the terminal type git clone and then paste this. Control shift V in the terminal or you can just right click and then click on enter. This will clone this repository. So uh, just uh, like Ubuntu is the recommended one, we can also use Debian or OpenSys for it. Uh, but uh, for now, I am just using Ubuntu. Next, what you have to do is run the run.sh script as uh, they have given in the guide also. Uh, here, just uh, see, uh, change the directory to magiscon wsa local folder and then there change to the scripts folder and then dot slash run.sh. 
this is the main script that we'll be using and it will also automatically install the dependencies. Now here you can select according to your system architecture. So this is my laptop, it's x64, so I'll uh, go with this. Just click the enter button. And I'll be going with the stable channel. Uh, you can also uh, select the release, preview, beta or the if channel. I'll just click enter. And here, uh, just click enter uh, because if you want stable release. And uh, here it's optional if you want to install gaps or not. So uh, in this video I'll be installing, so just click yes. And uh, mind the gaps is the recommended one, so uh, just go with it and click enter. And uh, I don't need Amazon apps to in this because I am already uh, installing Google Play Store also, so I'll just select no, right button and then no. And here, uh, as I said, magis can also be optional, so uh, if I don't want magis, I can just select none, uh, just click on space and none. Uh, but otherwise, in this video, I'll be installing magis, so just click on space and then click on enter, so... I'll be installing and here uh, to compress the output uh, by default just click on enter and then here select the zip option because uh, uh, if in case 7 zip is not installed in your system so just click on zip option and enter so uh, now it will generate the WSA uh, zip with the modified and the integration of magisk and play store so uh, after uh, it generates i will show you how to install that this will take some time So uh, the zip file with the modified WSA has been built and what we can uh, just open this in uh, file explorer we can directly open it from here explorer.exe and then dot so that it opens in the current directory and from here uh, we can just click on here uh, click on matches on WSA local and from the output folder copy this zip file. Here, uh, copy it and uh, put it in any of your folder. Uh, it can be documents or your C drive itself. Or we can just directly extract it. Now here, go to the C disk and then extract it here. Or uh, wherever you want to extract it. Now uh, open this extracted folder and uh, here to install the modified WSA we have to use the install.ps1 script. But before that uh, because uh, script execution is uh, disabled by default in PowerShell we have to enable it first by a command. So for that open uh, the terminal as admin by right clicking on the windows button and then click on this. So here, uh, paste this command, uh, I'll be giving this in description, this is basically to enable script execution so that we can uh, run the script. And then here click enter. After you do this, 
Uh, here, right click on the install.ps1 script to start the installation of this modified WSC. Right click and run with PowerShell. Or if you are on an older Windows, uh, you can also here get run with PowerShell. Now click on open. And this will start the installation. Just click on yes uh, when you will get the user account control prompt. Uh, just click on continue and uh, it will set up. And here we go. Uh, we have finally installed WSA with Google Play Store, um, which means the Google Apps and also Magisk, which is the root solution. I'll show you here. Allow the notifications and here we are. Uh, so it is rooted with Magisk also. And uh, here we have it, the Play Store also. I'll just sign up to show you. And uh, you can close this terminal. Uh, so just click on any key to exit or directly close it. Now uh, sign in and uh, here you will also get it, the Play Store and Magisk. So you can just open it from here also, sign in. So because this uh, usually crashes on the first installation, like when you'll sign up, so just open Play Store again, it's normal. And you might have to sign in again because of that crash. So it's all done. We have successfully installed Play Store and also Magisk with WSA. So this is it and thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, we have a telegram channel uh, in which we post tech news and all the stuff related to technology. Thanks for watching.